Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading with the tarot cards, Virgo, I'm going to be pulling out the shells. As you guys know, we currently experience a solar eclipse, and on July 4th, we're going to be entering the lunar eclipse. These are major transformative type of energies. These are energies that completely transform our lives or our way of viewing life. Um, so I wanted to do a little bit more of an in-depth reading to be able to see exactly what's to come and what's going to be unfolding for you guys. All right, let's see what Spirit has for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What's going on, Virgo? I see a lot of you guys clashing with family members or not really getting along with, with your family members, whether it be your brothers, your sisters, your father, your mother. Um, I, I feel it more like, like you've been experiencing this for quite a while, but I think you haven't experienced it to such deep level right now. And what they're saying is that it's almost like, um, I'm sensing almost like a feeling of people not acknowledging you or people not hearing you. And it's almost like you feel like an outsider, even within your own family. Uh, it could be because of rumors. It could be because of gossip. It could be because they just don't understand. And I don't think that they're coming from a, like from a bad place. I just think that they think they know what's best. And sometimes they don't, obviously. <laughs> um, but what they're saying here is that I see you kind of evading certain types of connections because you feel that they're coming from a very judgmental place or it's coming from. And this is not just family. This could be friends as well. Almost like like you're kind of walking on eggshells, Virgo. Uh, now, what they are saying here is that there is a transformative energy coming towards you that is going to set that it's going to set the path for a new beginning um, in regards to either. Okay, so what they're saying is that stability is coming through. For some of you guys, it could be that you're unexpectedly, unexpectedly getting raises. For others of you, you're just increasing your income. But this is also setting, you know, setting the the motion of walking towards stability, perhaps some of you guys moving away or moving out of your family home, um, could be moving in with friends, but I feel that you're, you're not really doing it from a good place. You're doing it because you feel like you are being pushed to do that. And it's almost like in a rush. So what they're saying is that if there's a situation that arises where there's arguments and people are just yelling at each other and fighting out of the heat of the moment, don't rush to say, you know what, I'm going to move out, F this, F that, because I think that rushing that is going to put you in a very tight position where you're going to have difficulty being able to find the stability or the routine of bills and stuff like that it's going to take a while for you to be able to actually be able to balance that so don't make any rash decisions for gold now i do see like i said i do see transformative energy i do see some of you guys changing residency others of you um getting your first home or creating your first home or what you would consider creating your home like i said for some of you guys could be you know that up until now, you've been living with your parents and you're going to be moving out. But like I said, don't rush into that, okay? Don't rush into it because then you're going to feel the pressure of responsibility. If you take your time and you plan it out, it's going to work out best for you. Now, for others of you, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, this could be your child that is experiencing like, like you're trying to be supportive, but it almost seems like the more you try to be supportive, the more they rebel against you. And it's like you putting your foot down and being very strict. 
take a deep breath, Virgo, step a bit back. The more you put pressure on them, the more you're creating that distance between you. And really, you and I both know what you're trying to just bring them closer to you. But by putting pressure, by making them feel like you're not hearing them or you are you don't know them or you're not putting effort in getting to know them or connecting with them on an emotional level, it's creating distance between you guys. And, you know, I see you like very worried about the situation and it's like the more you try to fix it. And I'm speaking directly about uh, children involved, okay? Now, children, keep in mind, could be adults, Um you know, sometimes they're immature. Um, but I do see you like really trying to fix it. But I think the more you try to fix it, the more you come off too strong. And and like I said, you're creating that distance. Now, they're also telling me here, for those of you guys that are in sales, or those of you guys that run your own business, be careful to do good by others. All right. The reason why I'm saying that is because I do see a situation arising. And it could be uh, they're saying it's kind of like you're reaping what you sowed um, or you're sowing what you reap, whatever that saying goes. Um, but what they're saying here is that it could be based on uh, actions that you've taken in the past. So it could be like the past coming back around or something that went wrong in a business deal or something like that. Be very mindful of that because I do see for some of you guys, like I said, those of you guys that run your own business or that um, are in sales or anything like that where you're dealing with the public, I do see an issue that if you don't nip it in the butt, it may actually turn into something where legal, uh, it's going to take the legal course. So just be mindful of that. Try to keep it away from court as much as possible. All right. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. For the month of July 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. Okay. Okay. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020. All right. We have the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, the King of Wands, the High Priest, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, wow, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, you guys have a lot of fire energy, a lot of fire energy, Virgo. This is speaking about business. This is speaking about uh, work. This is talking about um a passion, a new idea, something that you're trying to pursue. Now, right at the center, I have the two of swords and the king of wands. Some of you guys may be dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Taurus. I also do see here earth energy as well. But what they're saying here is with the eight of cups, I do see you guys, like I said, walking away from a situation that has become emotionally draining for you now this could be like i said feeling that you're being very like people around you are being very judgmental or they're not understanding or they're not seeing your side here's the thing what they're telling me is that for some of you guys there's almost like um there's almost like this kind of energy where financially um Maybe you're experiencing stability. For some of you guys, it could be stability that perhaps you've never had. So you kind of feel like, like you feel much more confident, almost arrogant when it comes to your finances that you feel like you don't have to explain yourself to people. And, and this is particularly for those that, like we mentioned earlier with the shell card reading, 
Um, for those that live, like if you live with your parents, um, perhaps you're experiencing this windfall of, you know, stability in regards to your finances and you feel like, like, I don't want to use the word ungrateful, but it's almost like, you know what? I could survive without you guys. Like you could say whatever you want. I'm just going to take my shit and leave kind of, you know, that kind of energy. And I'm sensing this energy, very immature type of energy. And what spirit is telling you here is that you need to be careful not to be or not to come off that way, Virgo. Yes, I understand that sometimes dealing with our parents or dealing with family members could be difficult, but it doesn't mean even if they do like relatives or friends come like from a from a bad or envious place doesn't mean you have to go as low as they do. OK, and what they're telling you is you need to ground your feet. You need to be grounded in this situation because what goes up may come down. Just keep that in mind. Now, you do have here, like I said, we did see in the shell readings that there's going to be some type of transformative energy. Some of you guys changing residency, some of you guys moving into a new apartment, a new location, others of you purchasing your first home or second home. Um, but I do see like this new beginning coming towards you guys. Now, what they're saying here is that uh, be mindful not to overspend, okay? Uh, keep, you know, put some money to the side and make sure that you are saving. You never know for a rainy day, very important. Now, I do see here the seven of swords, and I think that this is connected to the energy of some of the people that you're surrounding yourself with, especially those of you guys that are very social. Keep in mind that not everyone that is around you is your friend, Virgo, okay? And keep in mind as well that when you cross certain lines, and this is specifically talking about when it comes to relationships, if you're dealing with a friend that you have feelings for, and they also quote unquote have feelings for you, but they're trying to keep it on the down low, it doesn't mean that they're being completely transparent or that they're being completely honest with you. And if they give you that bullshit of let's keep it on the low so that we can see if it, something, you know, we can stabilize this relationship, that's an excuse because a person that wants to be with you is not going to keep that hidden. And, and I feel that this person is coming from a place of wanting to have the upper hand, whether it be to have you, whether it be to physically have you, or whether it be to entertain themselves at the moment while they wait for something new. All right. Now, this is not going to apply to everyone, but they are saying that if you're dealing or putting yourself in situations where you start to have feelings for people and people tell you, you know what, let's keep it on the down low right now to see how it progresses. You need to wake the fuck up from that type of energy, Virgo. You know better. Do not water yourself down. Do not allow people to take advantage of you. They either want you or they don't. Okay. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I do see you guys, uh, like I said, uh, being a little bit, someone in this relationship or in this partnership may be experiencing like being overprotective or being a bit jealous, but I think that this is just something passing. It's something temporary. And it could just be because of the planet alignments that we have right now, as well as um, as well as insecurities that are coming from their part, meaning what they've experienced in the past. But again, like I said, this is something that is going to weather very quickly and pass, meaning it's not something that they're going to continuously keep making your life more miserable or more difficult because they're becoming over obsessed or possessive in a way. All right. All right. So let's see what your final messages are for this month. Spirits, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? The direct message you have for them, please. Direct messages you have for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Take time to breathe out. Disseminate. What is it? Disseminating. Disseminating moon. Okay. I think who got this? I think Gemini or Cancer got this card. 
Now, if you're dealing with a Leo, sorry, with a Gemini or with a Cancer, maybe Leo, I'm not sure which one, um, maybe you want to look at their video. But anyways, take time to breathe out. We go to that of the message. Don't make decisions that are irrational. Don't be quick to make decisions. You may regret it later on. Don't be quick to anger. Okay, if people are trying to get under your skin and they're really trying you, take a step back or pull yourself away from that conversation or that situation so you can breathe it out, walk it out, Virgo. Don't let them get the best of you, okay? And your next card is the answer you need. The answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. I think some of you guys may be dealing with Gemini energy. Um, but what they're saying here is, Again, if there is doubts in regards to a relationship or there is fear, um, fear based off of past experience, meaning they've let you down once or they've done sneaky shit behind your back and you're still with them and you're constantly thinking, are they doing things? Take a step back. Take a step back and look at their actions. You know, this is one thing that really upsets me when people say, you know, I didn't expect this would happen or I would never imagine them being this way. And then they get deep into how they would treat them. And it's sounding off alarms in my head. And I'm thinking, okay, anyone can tell you or promise you that they're going to give you the world. But it's not about words. It's about actions. If a person is constant, if a person is constant in your life and they're continuously proving to you that they're there, not just on the physical aspect, but on an emotional level that you can rely on them. Do you really need them to constantly tell you that they love you? It's kind of like that saying of, you know, some people have the need to constantly hear their partner tell them how much they love them, to reassure them. And that's okay for a while. Because I understand that everyone carries different shit from the past experiences, relationships, you know, I get it. But it comes to a point where you can't expect your partner to heal you. You have to heal yourself. And it, it's the same thing as that of going off of what people are promising versus what they're doing on a physical aspect, meaning the things that they're doing to prove to you that they care for you. If I tell you I love you and when you text me, I blow you off or I text you like one word answers, then obviously, you know, I'm not really putting effort there. So you don't really need to ask or wonder, do they care? If are they showing you they care? And if they're not, then it's time for you to really reconsider giving your time to that person. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share and comment. And if you guys enjoyed the show readings, definitely comment below, let me know, and I'll make sure to uh, integrate those in the readings. All right, we'll see each other soon. Blessings to all of you guys, and happy lunar eclipse.